Well, welcome to 2013 EDN Technologies Education, where you are going to be learning how to teach the technologies learning area to primary school level. So my name is Dr. Jason Zagami. I'll be your lecturer and course convener for this course. And we also have a number of tutors that will be supporting you in your workshops. Um, we have Ra Rebecca, Rachel, Jason, Siren and Tammy, who will be looking after various campuses and the online campus as well. So the way this course works is that you will have a one hour workshop each week that you need to attend. And there you will do some of the practical activities associated with learning about and teaching technologies education. And in preparation for that, you will go through the course material that I will lay out on the course website. Now that will have five sections and each section has a little video clip that you can listen to that will explain various aspects of the section and what you're learning and part of that. And you will work through that and you will then complete a series of activities. Now these activities form what is called your log of learning. Now, this is for marks and it contributes 60% of your marks for the course. Each week you will do five small activities. Now you only have to complete them. So an activity might be as simple as taking a photograph of your workshop activity, or it may be a reflection on what you've learnt during the week, or it may be a small quiz and you'll find details of the five activities that you are to complete on the course website each week. So you'll work through those and throughout the course you will build up a large collection of contributions that you have made. So that's one aspect of your assessment. It's continuous, it happens throughout the course and you complete them as you go. The other aspect is what's called your portfolio of learning. Now this is going to comprise two things, or two, two video clips essentially, where you are going to video yourself doing a lesson. Now it doesn't have to be in front of live students, it might be in front of your friends, um, you could even be in front of yourself. You could video yourself teaching and also yourself as a student, but essentially you're creating a video representation of you teaching a lesson. And you'll do two of these. Of course, the subject, or this course, and the technologies learning area has two subjects, design and technology and digital technologies. And we'll be exploring what they mean this week. And so for each of those subjects, you will do a lesson and you will then share that lesson and it will be assessed. And we'll talk about how you will create that video um, throughout the course, but it'll be a a video of six minutes in length made up of six one minute segments. So it's not the entire 40 minute lesson you might give your students on design and technology. It'll be, you might video yourself doing an entire 40 minute lesson. Then you'll break out that into and edit four or six one minute clips from that. And that will then represent how you've met the criteria associated with that task. But again, we'll explore that in more detail as we go. So that's how you're going to demonstrate your learning throughout this course. Each week, you will have a tutorial to go to and a set of work to work through online. Now that is broken up generally into five sections and each section will normally have one of those log of learning activities related to it. Sometimes it might be more than five sections, sometimes a little bit less, depend upon the content of the week. Now, in terms of the content, we will be this week exploring the curriculum. What it is you should be ensuring that your students learn as part of technologies education. So we'll go through what the curriculum involves. I'm sure you've all heard of the Australian curriculum and in other courses, you've already explored the curriculum website 
and have gone through this process for other learning areas. We'll be doing it for the technologies learning area, which is again, as I said, made up of two subjects, design and technology and digital technologies. Now, what this course is not is about you learning how to use technology. In first year, you did a course where you learnt about educational technologies and how you could utilise technologies to improve your teaching. It's not about that. We will do some of that as a natural process of doing various things, such as learning how to do video clips and make your videos. But it's not the focus of the course and focus of your learning. What you're learning about is how to teach your students the technologies learning area. So, just to make clear about that. Now, throughout the 12 weeks of the course, we'll go through a whole range of different topics. Um, this week is curriculum. Next week will be uh, the content, where we unpack the content of what the curriculum says you need to teach. Then we'll look at some of the core concepts in relation to that. Then the pedagogy of how to teach these various concepts. Then we'll look at how to assess. And then we'll break into looking at various specific aspects of the content. We'll look at coding, for example, in terms of how to teach your students how to program. That is part of the course. We'll look at robotics and automation and how we can utilize that to teach various concepts. And we'll look at information and data and how we can frame activities around that. Then we'll look more specifically at design and technology activities, such as engineering and how, we student, how you'll teach students how to make things. And also looking at food and fiber production and how you'll teach students about that aspect of design and technology. And then finally, we'll look at some research around how best practice is being conducted in teaching the technologies learning area and some of the policies that you'll need to adhere to when you get out into schools and have to teach this in a real world environment. So they're the things that we're going to be learning over the next 12 weeks. Your videos come, video based assessment for your portfolio happens towards the end of the course. The log of learning happens throughout. So this week you're going to be learning about the curriculum and we're going to be learning about the two subjects that make up the technologies learning area design and technology and digital technologies then you're going to look at how this has all been framed as part of a national curriculum then we'll look a little more detail about how different states are approaching the teaching of technologies education somewhat differently and then we'll finally look at some of the future aspects around curriculum and how curriculum changes and some of the processes involved in that change. Because throughout your career, you will face several changes in curriculum. So you need to have a little bit of an understanding about why that occurs and how it occurs so that you can best make adjustments to your teaching when these changes do occur. In schools at the, at the moment, we're going through a change of curriculum. We're moving from version 8.6 of the Australian curriculum to version 9, which 8.6 to 9 may sound quite frequent, but this is the first major revision of the Australian curriculum in the 10 years that it's already been implemented. So change does happen. Curriculums change, but it's important that you understand the current curriculum in terms of expectations of student learning and understand that that will change and that's a good thing particularly in the area of digital technologies where change is occurring quite rapidly so you're going to work through now five of the um, different aspects of the curriculum and you will then attend a tutorial now the tutorials are focused primarily on some practical aspect that you need to be able to um, show that you can do. So very much modeling what you may do with your own students. So it may be involving making an act, making something or building something or designing something. And this week, if you're in the um, Gold Coast and Malkovat groups, you will be learning about 
small robotic devices called B-Bots and how we can use those to teach students various concepts to do with designer technology and also digital technologies. If you're in the online cohort, you'll be using an online simulation of these B-Bot robots to do the same process. And your tutors will assist you with that. Now, we do have some limitations on equipment and so we don't always have the facilities to be able to do everything the same on all of our campuses. And for this week, for example, our Logan group will be creating towers and learning about the processes of designing and building um, towers and using earthquake simulators to simulate um, the stability of those towers and the design process around constructing the, the most effective tower. So these model the processes we go through, and you'll find this in the curriculum documents as you explore them. There'll be a range of different example activities, and we call those elaborations, and the B-Bots and the tower building activities are represented in those elaborations. So they're ways of going about teaching the content of the curriculum. We'll get into more about that in a little bit. But that's an overview of what you're going to be doing this week and an overview of the course. If you've got questions, you can, of course, ask your tutors in the tutorials. If you've got questions about assessment, you should ask that to myself. And I've set up a discussion forum on the course website for you to be able to ask those questions. And there's also a section there to ask more general questions. So not necessarily about the assessment, but about technologies education in general. But remember, assessment questions, please direct those to myself so that we have just one voice on assessment and everyone hears the same, just so that there's no confusion that may arise if there are multiple voices around assessment. Okay, so the course material will become available on Saturday each week and then you'll work through that in the week leading up to your tutorials or your, sorry, your workshops on Thursdays and Fridays. And then you'll have that experience of practical activities in relation to the content that you've been exploring throughout the week. That's it for now.